I, again, everybody, thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act Two. Art and I are proud to have Dr. Liz Lister with us as a regular guest, and she's here again today. Hi, Dr. Liz. Hi. Dr. Liz, I have a question for you. Uh, before we uh, do these tapings, we exchange information on possible topics and things like that. And uh, with the whole uh, 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 NBA and uh, WNBA and all the, the going on now with March Madness and and uh, uh, was it Caitlin Clark who were always following her score? You do something out there called a calcium score. Really? Is that a, like a professional uh, sport now? It's a calcium score. Not yet. Not yet. I'm sure now that we're saying it, someone will take that idea and run with it, Art. I'm sure that's okay. I'm, I'm sure that'll happen. So, what is it? Calcium score. Yeah. I'll tell you who's talking all about calcium scores are my parents. My parents are in their 80s. And so they have some friends in their 70s. They're in their 80s. Handful of them are in their 90s. And they are all getting their calcium scores checked. It's like a fad among them. All right, but I, I knew about it from patients. I definitely have been aware of calcium artery score, and I thought it would be interesting to share with our listeners. What, what is it? Actually, does it score the level of calcium? Or I mean, I know calcium is important, particularly for older people. Okay, that's very interesting. Let's put a pin in that. Let me answer the first part. So a calcium score the it's the coronary artery calcium test that's uh, the official name of the test so the coronary arteries are here it is a less than five minutes long ct scan okay and it is checking you know the way you can see bones on x-rays it's very easy to see bones on x-rays because of calcium in uh, the bones sure okay so the ct checks the coronary arteries right here and gives a score, and it can be from zero all the way up into the hundreds. Ooh. Above 400 is bad. That shows a lot of a lot of calcium deposit in the coronary arteries. So it's zero to 100, one to 200, two to 300 is mild, moderate, severe. Lower is better. Zero is really great. Okay, and there is, I remember when this was a, just a fad and people were going and having this done, but it is now incorporated into cardiology care for a lot of people. We're getting more data. We're getting more correlation. It is the understanding that we have that the beginning of coronary artery disease and blockage of arteries begins with calcium deposits in the lining of the artery. All right. Mm. There can be other things. There can be injury to the lining of the arteries that allows the deposits to get stuck. There's a lot to it. However, uh, calcium score is an easy measure to use as part of the whole uh, picture of the whole evaluation. It's not invasive, no needles, no contrast in the CT. It's, it's almost as quick as getting an x-ray. Is that something like uh, Medicare covers? That is a very good question. I am not sure. I am not sure. I know people at, be at the beginning, people could uh, not even, it was definitely not covered on any insurance, mm. but now it is definitely getting some coverage. Medicare is sort of the ultimate. Sometimes I remember to check that before we do our recordings. I will check and we'll include it in the show notes. Let's make okay. sure. That's, Great. That's I, I, I'll tell you what, I have my semi-annual uh, uh, visit with my uh, GP, and I'll ask him next week. And you know, oh yeah, perfect. You know. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's just got a lot of advantages. It promises to do more early detection, mm -hmm. right? We don't want to catch blockage when there's all the way to blockage and damage to the heart muscle and heart attacks, right? So as we gain more data, if we see this as an early step in the process towards coronary artery disease and coronary artery blockage, then that's going to be huge in terms of prevention of millions of deaths. Wow. Sure will. Okay. Sure will.
You know, Dr. Liz, I, I, I brought up a, 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 or hinted at another use of calcium, and that's for our bones. I think we ought to do another video sometime in the future about this duel and, and the good, the bad, and the ugly yes. of calcium. Uh, because Perfect. obviously we need it for yeah. our bones. And We do. We how do. There's, there's... It, where, how it gets there, I think it's probably a, a very important discussion. Yes, that's the controversy. So that's a really perfect topic for us to do. Uh, it's, it's controversial whether taking calcium by mouth mm -hmm. makes it to where it's supposed to be. Mm, good. Well, that's a lot different than calcium getting stuck and 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 calcifying in your in your exactly. arteries. So uh, exactly. this is great information. Good information. Yeah, so, and also, it's a good now that we've heard the calcium score. John and I are not going to rush off to Vegas for the sports book and bet on the calcium score. I'm we taking don't want the over to, or under. Yeah, and we actually don't want it to be too high for sure. Exactly. Anyway. Lower. In this case, you want zero. You want zero points on this one. Sure. Perfect. Oh, well, I can imagine. Thank you, Dr. Dr. Liz. Great to see you again. For more on Celebrating Likewise. Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.